and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And today I'm bringing you a layout share um, that I did with my December Like Forever kit. Now, Like Forever is a kit club that does no longer exist. Um, if any of you have been following my channel for a while, you will see that I did have those kits. And then when they stopped producing, I did move over to the Citrus Twist kits. And part of that is I still have a few of these Like Forever kits to go through for when I do my scrapbooking layouts along with collections that I have. Um, and the Citrus Twist works very well for my project life, which I am doing a lot of catching up on. But anyway, I thought I'd show you what I created with this kit. I haven't done any of these as process videos because I mainly scrapbook when I go to my friends. Um, but I thought I'd show you some of the things that I did. So the first layout I did, I'd actually used a cardstock background. Let's pop that down there, that's easier. Uh, and I used some of the strips of the paper and went round them with an outline. And then I did sort of make myself what you call a little bit of a snowdrift by just ripping some white cardstock. I used these gorgeous stickers um, from, I can't even remember, what, where were they from? Pretty Little Studio. I've just had to go check. <laughs> They're from Pretty Little Studio, um, gorgeous letter stickers and some of the extra bits that I added in from my stash. So these words are from my stash, as is this little glitter arrow, as are the little sprinklings that I did. Though the die cuts were all from the kit, as were the snowflake stickers and the papers. So that was my first layout where I did a strip. This is the only time I really get a picture of all four of my children together is Christmas Eve. Guaranteed Christmas Eve PJs. Uh, guaranteed goofy photos as well. So quite often they do appear in a strip. Now this one was a slight cheat. <laughs> we were having a scrapbooking challenge of using a die cut, uh, sorry, a cut file. Mine went very pear-shaped and I ended up cutting them out. But I have used some bits from the kit. So the paper behind these pictures are from the kit and from the add the stash of these little pearls. So yeah, a little bit of a cheat layout, probably not completely this kit, but partly. So we're going to include that one. And I did stitch around the edge of that as well. Then we have the gorgeous uh, Swiss dot type cardstock that we got in the kit. And for this, I used a lot more of the snow and cocoa. I used the, th the cut apart sheet and cut apart quite a few of those, layering up a tag behind one, layering a couple behind the photos. I used the thickers we got in the letter to say hashtag snow machine, because one Christmas we did have a snow machine because it's very, very rare that we get snow in Warrington as it is. Uh, we have had it over the last couple of days while we've had this beast from the east blizzard. However, it's not stopped any of the roads. Um, it's not stopped any of the traffic and life has continued as normal. Uh, the snow is now pretty much all gone. Uh, you'd be lucky if it lasted a day. But anyway, so for this Christmas, we did use a snow machine to try and get some pictures. And this is just a couple of the images from that. And the kids found it hilarious. I did use a couple more of these glitter arrows. I also used some more of the snowflakes from the kit and some of the enamel dots that we got in the kit, as well as with the die cuts. I also got a couple of these freckle fawn snowflakes on here to help use them up. A random chipboard heart and one of the wood veneer strips as well. Love that layout. Then we have another one. I was starting to struggle by the time I got to this point, uh, but I did use the gorgeous vellum that we got in the kit and tried to, tried to use up a few of the bigger die cuts. So I've popped this little house up on foam. I did manage to get the rest of the freckle fawn little blue snowflakes in here. Uh, I had enough to spread them about. I cut a few trees out of the paper and used some of the die cuts as well. And I managed to use one of the labels that I'd popped into the kit. 
but yeah, quite cute the way that this one turned out. They all pose for a picture and then half of them are on their phones. It's like, yes, job done, picture done, off I go. Then I've got this one, which um, I did this one more recently as I was using up the kit. So it's got a couple of strips of the paper here. And I did actually use the pink cardstock. So I did very well with the cardstock in this kit. Uh, used those freckle fawn letters to, to help spell out the title with the ones we got and used some of the wood veneer snowflakes. I also used a cut file. I think this one was from Hip Kit Club to create a little stack of presents which I've backed with the papers. And again, I did quite a bit of outlining on these papers as well. I like the way that turned out. And then the last layout that I did, I decided to do a load of circles. Again, this is more of those snow pictures in a smaller format. I'm not bothered. I think they may even be the same pictures. Yeah, they're the same pictures. However, that doesn't bother me because they will, even though these are smaller, it's a different layout and I'll just put it in a different child's album so it won't look very samey as you go through. But for this, I layered up circles, both from the die cut pack as well as cut out from the papers. I've got one of the random embellishments that I'd popped in of a pink wood piece. I've popped that in as well, as well as a couple of the hearts. I found the enamel dots again at this point, so I spread those across the page. And again, we've got things like the ornaments die cut and a tag and the little merry and bright. So not loads of layouts uh, from this collection, but from this kit, sorry. Two, three, four, uh, six. So I managed to get six layouts from this. I do feel as though I've done a pretty good dent in the kit itself and there wasn't many papers left to do more plus I was I was done with the kit I've had this kit going since June <laughs> but anyway I'm going to move on to the next one me and my friend are back scrapping we've stopped our winter hiatus where we tend to spend more time at home than actually dragging ourselves out the house to meet up um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get through the next quick kit a lot quicker. But I hope you've enjoyed this layout share. If you do want to see any more layout shares, please let me know. I have a multitude of albums and I'm more than willing to do some album flip throughs if this is what you like. Just let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.